In the US and here in Europe, laws have been passed for compliant broadcast levels. It's boring, I'm not going to talk about it here, but in general terms, the target level agreed by various lawmaking bodies is minus 23 LUFS for Europe and minus 24 LKFS for the US. Don't worry about why it's 23 or 24, that's for another lesson. Basically, what you need to do is this, set the target level by dragging the line up and down to whatever value you want, but for broadcast it's minus 24 and 23. By default, Logic sets the value to 23. Once set, all you have to do is mix double master to the target level. It's that simple. So let's hit the start, pause button and adjust the stereo mix until it's minus 23 compliant. For Hit The Road Long, the value that best suits the integrated level, remember integrated is king, is around minus 9.5 dBFS on the channel fader. This results in a compliant mix that is minus 23 LUFS. When you exceed the target level, a portion of the meter display turns yellow. This acts as a warning indicating your track is breaching the compliant levels. Integrated values must only exceed the target level momentarily and not by a large degree. Short term and especially momentary values will sometimes go above the target level because it's reading short transient bursts and not measuring whole mix average levels. Integrated values are key to compliancy. If you find all the bars are constantly going into the yellow, the mix needs to be turned down. So what's the point in all this? The thing you will find is this. At minus 23 LUFS, your mix will feel very quiet. It's 23 dB below zero. But the reason for this is so that broadcasters can level different styles of music with different dynamic ranges without the need to over compress the signal. A film score for example, often has a huge dynamic range, but a pop or dance track doesn't. Therefore, if they are placed together at 0 dBFS, the pop track feels very loud in comparison, because the average level is much closer to 0 dBFS. If both are levelled at an average of minus 23, then generally speaking, we as good law-abiding humans hear both pieces of music at the same level level. In fact, the orchestral piece probably sounds better because it will have less crushed dynamics. So at this point, if you're thinking, I don't do anything that gets broadcast, or I don't write music that needs to be bothered with compliant legal broadcast levels, or that my music should be nothing more than as loud as I can possibly get it, then one, and with the greatest possible respect, I think you'd be making a mistake. The future is with metering systems like LUFS and LKFS across radio, TV, the internet, iTunes and other streaming services. And two, these metering levels will apply to all styles of music and will likely become the standard way of mixing and mastering in the future. In section one, lesson four, I talk about mixing at the correct average RMS level for better mixes. With the loudness meter, why not mix using the target line? This means that by keeping an eye on the integrated and short-term meter bars, you can easily mix a track without worrying about going into the red. So I'm going to set this at minus 18 LUFS. Of course, that's above the compliance standards for broadcast. But if you're mixing music that's not going onto streaming services, radio or TV, then you don't need to worry about it. So let's set this up. I'll bring up the faders one by one and get the mix to sit around minus 18 LUFS.
As you can see using the loudness meter for the purpose of mixing to a target number, I can easily ensure peak levels always remain below the ceiling, leaving plenty of headroom ready for the mastering stage. The mix will naturally come out with a peak of around minus 5 dB, which is perfect for mastering. Without realizing it, the loudness meter will actually give you back more dynamic range because you're not fighting to keep your mix below 0 dB FS. What this plugin won't do is write a hit record for you or glue your mix together, but I know you already have that covered. It won't create a killer mix. You have to do that legwork. What it will do is allow you to easily mix to target levels and empower you to create louder, more dynamic mixes without blindly wondering what levels you should be aiming for. The loudness meter will help you safely target loudness.